We've learned from previous videos that dissociation is when chemical substances separate into positive and negative ions when dissolved in water. An acid is a chemical that dissociates into one or more positively charged hydrogen ions and one or more negatively charged anions. For example, when hydrochloric acid dissociates in water, it ionizes into hydrogen ion and chloride ion. Some everyday examples of acids include citrus fruits like oranges and lemons, soda pop, and coffee. Acids are also referred to as proton donors because hydrogen ions consist of just one proton having one positive charge. A hydrogen atom in an acid contains one proton in its nucleus and one electron. When it ionizes, it loses its electron and becomes a hydrogen ion, leaving it with its single proton and a positive charge of plus one. So when you see hydrogen ions, think protons. A base is a chemical that dissociates into one or more negatively charged hydroxide ions and one or more positively charged cations. For example, when the base sodium hydroxide dissociates in water, it ionizes into sodium ions and hydroxide ions. Some common household examples of bases include antacids like Tums and Rolaids, window cleaner, detergents, and bleach. Bases are also referred to as proton acceptors because they can remove hydrogen ions, which are protons, from a solution. A salt is a chemical that dissociates into cations and anions when dissolved in water, with neither of the ions being hydrogen or hydroxide. For example, when the salt sodium chloride dissociates in water, it ionizes into sodium ions and chloride ions. Many electrolytes in the body are salts that play important roles in the conduction of nerve impulses and maintaining fluid homeostasis. Salts are also the products of reactions between acids and bases. When hydrochloric acid reacts with the base potassium hydroxide, they each dissociate into their respective ions that are then recombined in an exchange reaction to form two products, the salt, potassium chloride, and water. The body spends a great deal of time and energy in acid-base homeostasis throughout all of its intracellular and extracellular fluids. Even a small change in hydrogen ion or hydroxide ion concentration is enough to interfere with normal cellular and bodily processes. We can measure the strength of an acid or base by using the pH scale, which is a short scale that ranges from 0 to 14. pH stands for potential hydrogen because it's a measure of the concentration of hydrogen ions in a solution expressed in units of moles per liter. We can determine how acidic or basic a solution is by measuring the quantity of its dissolved hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions. A solution having a pH below 7 is an acid or acidic solution its concentration of hydrogen ions is greater than its concentration of hydroxide ions. The lower the pH, the more acidic the solution. A solution with a high concentration of hydrogen ions is a strong acid. Some pH values of common acids are coffee with a pH of 5, soda pop, with a pH of 3, gastric juice in the stomach, the pH of 2, and hydrochloric acid with a pH of 0. 
out of these examples, coffee is the weakest acid, having the highest pH below 7. And hydrochloric acid is the strongest acid, having the lowest pH. A solution having a pH above 7 is a base, or basic, alkaline solution. Its concentration of hydrogen ions is less than its concentration of hydroxide ions. The higher the pH, the more basic the solution. A solution with a high concentration of hydroxide ions is a strong base. Some pH values of common bases are soap with a pH of 9, window cleaner with a pH of 11, bleach with a pH of 12, and oven cleaner with a pH of 13. Out of these examples, soap is the weakest base, having the lowest pH above 7, and oven cleaner is the strongest base, having the highest pH. A solution with a pH equal to 7, such as pure water, is neutral. Its concentration of hydrogen ions is equal to its concentration of hydroxide ions. The pH scale is a logarithmic scale based on the power of 10. Even though the pH scale ranges only from 0 to 14, each whole number change in pH represents a 10 times or 10 fold change in hydrogen ion concentration. So each whole unit change in pH can be written as 10 to the exponent x, where x equals the number of units changed on the scale. For example, a solution with a pH of 5, like coffee, is moderately acidic. If we add a stronger acid to it and its pH changes from 5 to 3, it has changed 2 pH units. This means that a solution with a pH of 3 is 100 times more acidic than a solution with a pH of 5. Remember that each unit represents a tenfold change in hydrogen ion concentration. So if we lower a solution's pH by 2 units, it's 10 times 10, or 10 squared, which equals 100. So there is a 100 times increase in hydrogen ion concentration. What happens when we go in the opposite direction toward the basic end of the pH scale? Let's take our acidic coffee, for example, with a pH of 5, and add a base to it so its pH increases from 5 to 8. It has changed 3 pH units. This means that a solution with a pH of 8 is 1,000 times more basic than a solution with a pH of 5. Remember that each increase in a pH unit represents a tenfold decrease in hydrogen ion concentration. So if we increase a solution's pH by 3 units, it's 10 times 10 times 10, or 10 cubed, which equals 1,000. There will be a 1,000 times decrease in hydrogen ion concentration. Because each pH unit represents a 10 times increase or decrease in hydrogen ion concentration, cells are sensitive to even slight changes in pH. This is why pH values are often expressed in tenths or even hundredths, because each fraction of a unit can have a significant impact on cells. Some examples of this include saliva, with a pH between 6.35 and 6.85.
bile has a pH of 7.6 to 8.6, and blood having a very narrow pH range between 7.35 and 7.45, only one-tenth of a pH unit. 